Hi guys, welcome back to Homestead. We're out here in the garden. We're going to be doing some work today. I'm going to bring you along. Let me first give you a tour of the garden and we'll start on the projects for today. The first thing I want to call your attention to is this little greenhouse we made. So right over here, you can see these. this is some lettuce right here. And then right back over there, that's cabbage. I think we have another cabbage one over there. And then this bed that hasn't popped up yet are peppers. They haven't popped up yet because it takes longer for them to pop up and germinate. I'm not really sure what the rest are because my mom planted the rest, but they seem to be coming up pretty good. You can see over there, here, some of the others are coming up here, so they're looking really good. Every one of those sticks that you see, I believe every one of those is a tomato. And right now they're starting to flower, so that's great. We got some over here that's a little bit further along. Right here we have some radishes, as you can see, radishes all the way down, as you can see. Lots of radishes. Then on the sides we also have some sweet potatoes that are planted. And we also have some more sweet potatoes over here. Now under these cups we have some cucumbers, like for example right here. That's a cucumber right there. Just popping up, really excited with the, about that. In the last vlog I did, we planted some peas. And now they're actually starting to come up, so that's really good. But will you look at this? Man, what do you think that is? If you're thinking a cutworm, you're wrong. This is who's responsible for it. Yep. Well, the bean area seems to be a runway for the chickens. We'll go. Yeah. Try to stay in there. I'm back here at the edge of the chicken pen, and there were two chickens out. Got one, but the other one escaped. When they do, they come up and run down this area. Let's show you real quick. Run down this path. That, I was just chasing the chicken, caught the chicken up over there, and they run down this path and then run straight into the weeds. And basically, you just gotta wait for them to come out. It's really frustrating. That's the tour for the garden. Let's get started on the projects. There are two things we're doing in this cassava field over here. First thing is we are leveling the dirt. Over here, as you can see, my brother's tilling it up to make it kind of a level area. Over here, we're kind of just making it flat trying to make it as flat as possible because there's all these bumps. And number two, we're trying to cut the field again. And I'm, I'm the sticks. And she's handing out the sticks, yes, to her mother where we're going to plant them. And what am I going to do? Well, I got this chair right here. I'm going to supervise. Keep up the great work, guys. Just joking. I'm going to be cutting the weeds in the back. Let's get started. I kind of cut back that area over there. We just cut a little bit every day to keep it going back further. But what we're also doing here is we're also planting some more cassava. And basically all we're doing is just digging a hole, loosening up the dirt so when we plant the stick in there, the cassava stick, it will grow up easily and get make roots easily. What we're going to do now is we're going to pull up this cassava plant. But the first thing I want to talk about is we're going to use the leaves right here to feed to the sheep. The sheep really love the leaves for some reason. We don't know why. They just love them. And then we're going to use the sticks, the basically the stem right here. We're going to cut this up and then we're going to plant the stem. And as for the roots, that is the edible part that you can eat. We're going to pull those up as well and eat that for lunch. So let's get started. Now I'm going to try to stand kind of far away from the base because what I don't want to do is be trying to pull it up and then there the one of the two birds be stuck in the ground because I'm standing on it so it's best not to do that now I'm gonna pull against it it's leaning this way so I'm gonna pull against it okay just like this oops it's broke that's fine and there we go that's actually pretty good this right here is the edible part. You can eat these pieces right here. Let's get all these off. This is the biggest piece here. It's a real winner. Yeah. And this is a good bit. Maybe enough for lunch. Maybe we need a little bit more. That's pretty good. I'm not going to go in to showing you how to process this because I've already made another video on that. I'll link it in the YouTube card above. I believe it's on this side. I need to memorize which side the YouTube card is so I can just point to it. I believe it's on this side. Anyways, let's let's go into head and start cutting up and planting the cassava stems. 
What are you going to bring that, Liv? To the house. What, what are you going to do with it? Wash it. Okay, well, have a good time washing it. Now my brother is still digging the holes and basically I'm just going to chop these up and then plant them in the holes. Now we'll start chopping them. We want to chop them pretty big because we want to have as many nodes and seeds on them so that if one doesn't sprout, the other one will. The other ones will. will. So that's kind of what you want to think about. This bottom part you may be able to plant, but we're not going to plant it. And there we go. Let's start planting them. And all we're going to do is just plant this at an angle. As you can see, this one's actually starting to sprout, which is good. We're going to plant this at an angle right here, leaving this yucca, this cassava node up so that it has a chance to grow. Now this right here, as you can see, is the seed pod. You can plant this as well, but we're not planting it. We're planting the stem, which has the little nodes, just like sugarcane. And we're not going to plant this because it probably takes a lot longer to grow this than it does to grow some, something on the stem. And I'll just finish planting the cassava. There we are, I finished planting the seeds, and as you can tell, we've leveled it a good bit. My brother leveled it a little bit. I cut some more back on there, just a little bit more, and planted the seeds, and pulled up the cassava. So that's probably it for today. We just kinda wanna push a little bit further this way every single day. We come out here every single day and work on it, except for yesterday, it rained really bad. But anyways, that's that. Let's move on to another project. Recently we've been doing lots of different projects here on the homestead and we've got a huge amount of scrap wood. So right now I'm going to take this and I'm going to move all the scrap wood back to an area where we are building a burn shed. So let me do that now. this all piled up from on the side of the house. The only thing we need to do is put some plastic on it. That should keep the majority of the rain off. Let's move on to another project. The next thing we're going to be doing is preparing this bed right behind me for some tomatoes, to plant some tomatoes. As you can see, this bed needs a little bit of work. We need to bring in some dirt, we need to till the bed, we need to put in some guinea pig poop and just get it ready for the tomatoes. We're going to plant tomatoes back to here. I believe this is all experimental. We've planted some uh, lentils in here. It's all experimental. We're gonna see what happens. I think some of the lentils have actually come up. Right here, as you can see, some of them have come up. I think these are lentils. We'll have to see how they turn out. But for now, we're gonna prepare this front row right here of the bed to the stick and get it ready for some t more tomatoes. Let's get started.
there we go, we are all ready to plant some tomatoes. I thought real quick I'd show you the cistern and how it's coming along. So as you can see, it's pretty much all the way dug out. It is actually all the way dug out. We put boards all the way around it and we have a really big piece of plastic or two really big pieces of plastic that we're going to lay in this and then we can fill it up with water. And this will be help us with a key with our water problem. Right now we can only store about two weeks worth of water. And here and there it's not very common but we do sometimes go two weeks without rain. And that's kind of why we're building another cistern to kind of help the problem. We have not really gone one month without rain, so we should, after we finish the cistern, we should never have a problem with water again. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the video on the screen. That is the previous vlog I made, and if you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy the, that vlog. Also, don't forget to comment below let me know what you thought about this video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time at Equator Homestead. Bye.